Hi guys, Boy Extreme Catfishing here. We are up here by the bridge area, but this is the parking area um, right here as we speak. This is the other end of the trail where you would access it if you're going in the direction of goals. So that's one end right here, and that's the parking area. And what we're about to approach now is actually the bridge that my understanding is that they're supposed to be reconstructing, sandblasting, and making this a really pretty bridge with lights and things of that nature. If you're bike riding, I do believe that this is the exit way for the bike trail. Um, but we're coming here across the bridge here, and I do not know the name of the bridge. Um, but if it has a name, it will definitely be posted at the bottom of the screen right about now. So, uh, this bridge has been blocked off and they're in the process of reconstructing this bridge. As you can see, it, uh, it has seen better days, but it is definitely a, a beautiful bridge and not a bad place for me to stop and have a have some lunch, I tell you. <clears throat> Absolutely beautiful. This reminds me a lot of the bridge that goes alongside 95 on the Lake Moultrie Pass, excuse me, Lake Marion Passage. Uh, excuse me, Mol Marion Passage, sorry. Um, but as you see here, it's blocked on that end too, so cars can't come down it. And this is the water that feeds the waterfalls that are down there and as you can see folks are walking on the bridge down there um, you can see the roads that basically surround this area and I'm going to find out what this re uh, river is if this is just still Lawson's Creek um, or if it's some other uh, item feeding it there but you guys can see the beauty from the bridge I mean, really nice up here, guys. And we got folks down there that were at the picnic area you saw earlier. They're actually getting ready to get into the water and go swimming. So you can actually go swimming out here. They give you a warning that the water has high levels of bacteria. So you swim at your own risk. But uh, obviously it still happens and that's an awesome thing. Um, so the bridge, as you can see, guys. It has definitely seen its better days, but um, awesomeness still. I'm just trying to give you different views and looks of and it kind of you can see the waterfall right here. It goes over the edge there. And this is another parking area here on the other side of the bridge. And as you can see here, folks are coming down on this end and uh, going alongside the creek there. <clears throat> so you can see where the wood there is it's pretty much been rotted away. See where the water kind of goes over the end there. And there's a better view of the waterfall, which we're going to get an even better view here in a few minutes. But um, this is it, man. This is the big bridge here. We're going to go around the corner, go down the steps, and see if we can't walk out on some of the rocks to see the, the main dam from a bigger view. But um, looks like folks go fishing out here. Looks like folks go swimming out here, hiking, because that's what I'm doing. Beautiful place to go biking. So a lot of activity out here, guys. This is a great place out here. Um, Work Stream is gonna go ahead and break for lunch, and um, we'll see y'all guys in a bit, man. Should Work Stream get for some more. What's up guys? You want to catfish?
I did it on Glendale Shows, Greenway Preserve, Trail. Uh, I'm real close to the end. Actually, I'm at the end of it. Um, this is the big bridge that I'm sitting on now. And basically, either side of me, you got water. So you got the waterfall on this side, on the other side. You got Palmer Water where it's kind of fishing. And you got a lot of swimming over here and people looking at the rocks and things of that nature. Once we go this way, we're going to go right to the left. And there's a set of stairs over here that we're going to go down that will put us out here, right smack in front of the waterfall. So we'll have some pretty good views of the waterfall out here, hopefully. Love this stuff, guys. Great hyper food. Um, absolutely beautiful trail. I couldn't ask for more. Now, of course, but wouldn't be able to talk to you guys. I've seen a lot of people using the passage, the trail, the waterfall. That's all good. That kind of pushes to keep it up. Didn't see any trash or anything on the trail at all. Great job of keeping up with the trail. Um, it's been an easy day today, guys. I mean, I think I've done two and a half miles. So the trail is probably about two and a half miles total. And I tried to do all the loops and everything. So it's about two and a half miles. It's an easy hike day for you. You can get something done and um, there'll be any problems. But it's been, it's been pretty good. The nice view for the waterfall. And um, it's been one of those easy days. So trains have a lot of 10, 15 mile hikes, two, two day plus backpacking trips. And uh, don't get a chance to actually come to one of the trails and actually take your time and truly enjoy what's around it. Um, this is one of those days. Um, okay, I just I want to thank Gold for the job they do out there. They keep up the trail to right before it hits the wall for you right there. And um, they do a very fine job of that. So I'm um, going to finish my lunch up and um, do a blood stream tap fishing and see how guys will get there. We'll be on the other side of the wall. The blood stream tap fishing. When they'll show us, preserve the green way past the trail. See you on the bench. Alright guys, so we've left the bridge here, where we're taking a break a second ago. <clears throat> we're going to head down the stairway, which gives us access to the front of this waterfall. Out here at Glendale Shoals. <clears throat> they come here, and I'll GPS this. Oh, something that's kind of cool over there. But, um, come over here and basically, same sign we've been seeing with uh, Glendale Shoals. No climbing on the damn walls or mole runs. Okay, we won't be climbing on the damn walls. That would be stupid. Haha, <clears throat> <laughs> made a funny two-way. Don't climb on the damn walls. <laughs> Alright, so we're going down the stairway here. You see it's kind of planked. Same advisory bacterial, uh, bacterial levels have exceeded state standards. Swimming here at your own risk. So apparently it's not risky enough for some folks to swim because we're going to see some folks down here that are actually going to be swimming. <clears throat> it has a little boardwalk out here. There's a waterfall, guys. There's a bridge above it. It's pretty beautiful, I tell you. Up close to personal waterfalls are always a little bit better. I don't know if you will really classify this as a waterfall, seeing that actually it's a man-made waterfall. Not a natural waterfall, but a waterfall indeed. We actually had to tie the trash can down with a chain apparently to keep it where it's supposed to be. Check that out, guys. <clears throat> the 
as you can see here. Folks are swimming. Anybody know Joe? Nice place to bring the kids and the family and yourself if you want to come out here and go swimming. You can come out here with any cuts or sores. Seeing that the bacterial level is above state standards, chances are pretty high that there won't be any peace. <laughs> got here basically the same thing further down because where we were was down this way um, on those rocks down there and out here is just basically where folks are swimming at right here by the by the waterfall <coughs> and, uh, I'm gonna see if I can skip over some of this stuff here get to some of the more areas that are not touched yet a lot out here to see guys if you come down here you got your your pollen puddles is what it looks like to me no, not really. but you see where the water comes down here and flows Again, or Agon, she got a little puddle area here. It's probably a good swimming spot here. Um, come over here and uh, let's check out some of this area in the back over here. Let me come from over there. So, this is just a little slow free-flowing waterfall here and it looks like we have a trail back here dear sir we do so on the other side of the waterfall is a trail kind of creeks that way And I'd be interested to see that this trail actually goes to the picnic area on the other side of where we were at. It's a possibility. We're just following the backed up water here, backed up creek. And there's the area down there that we were at a moment back. <clears throat> it doesn't look like this it does actually it goes this way kind of weaves through the branches and stuff here got a decent little photograph there <laughs> kind of neat careful around these sharp rocks oh <sighs> come around the rocks here and, uh, trail on this side And I think this takes us to the picnic area down the way. Sorry for the shakies. <clears throat> Careful on these rocks. It's easy to step. Turns your ankle one way and you're screwed out of here. So, if you look here. This is where we were earlier. So there's our rock. The chair would be right there. We can barely see it. But your boy Extreme was walking all over there. So he's on the other side of the creek now. Other side of the uh, uh, free-flowing water area here. Hence why there is a 
trash can on this side that you can access. So this gives me better views. There's that trash can we saw across the way when I was standing over there. Yep, see, there's the rock. There's the store of the chair, the bench. So, comes out here, guys. And, uh, <clears throat> waterfalls up there. See how far we can get down. Looks like a trail may go up this way. <clears throat> Looks like you might be able to get down here. Like a possible possible trail through here. <clears throat> we got that picnic area over there, which I'm not sure. Let's double check real quick. See if we can actually reach it. You might. Be a little creative, but you might. And there's the shot of that waterfall I wanted. There's actually two of them. They split off. Rendell shows, guys. A picnic area over there. You could probably access it if you kind of did a little bit of bushwhacking right there. So your boys out here enjoying the waterfalls, enjoying the beautiful trail. Two and a half miles of trail. You would have never thought. We'll produce this much video. But only your boy Stream Catfish can catch the real stuff out of here, man. I'm just gonna let you I'm just gonna let nature talk to you right now. Because I done said everything I can say. Pretty much guys, this is the end of this video. And uh, I appreciate y'all guys coming along for the ride. I appreciate y'all guys watching. Sorry about that. I appreciate y'all guys watching your boy stream catfishing out here, getting it in. And uh, what can I say, man? It's your boy. And I'm out.